today, so I thought I might show you some of our buildings. Right down the end here, we have the uh, operations building. So that's where we talk to the planes, the um, flight lounge, if you'd call it that, is in there, so passengers can sit out of the weather, wait for their planes. Usually down here, there's a, an apron for the uh, runway, which is currently all the way over there. But because we're running a shortened runway and it's full of snow, we just don't have that. So we've got radar, HF, radio antennas, everything like that on the roof. We've got ceilometer, all that sort of jazz. The second um, container that pops out into a tent, that's our mech shelter or um, pop-up hospital more than anything for fly days. So we have that, so if we have mass casualties, our doctor that comes up from station for the flight will uh, triage there. This red building is the manager's van. It's where the uh, Wilkins Air Room manager stays. The white building there, that is their uh, generator hut. So we run two 88 kilowatt generators, I think, and we use all that power. The green building is our uh, mess, kitchen, toilets, showers, and uh, lounge room. So upstairs there we can watch movies, spend some time. It's a good little building. Smaller green building is our living accommodation, so our uh, sleeping accommodation more than anything. Hey Rocket! <laughs> So that's what goes on there. Next small red building along is a um, overflow accommodation, so an extra two bedrooms. And then down here, just in front of the tractors, is our side opener containers we use for storage. And right up on the hill there, a bit further away, is our winter berm. That's where we store things for over winter, where they won't blizz in and uh, got some more long-term storage up there, containers with random bits and pieces we don't need as often. So that's what we do. Forgot to mention that the uh, ops building also has the gym in there. So yeah, good stuff. So here we have our uh, sleeping accommodation. It's only, uh, yeah. 10 metres from the living quarters, where we have our mess, our uh, lounge room, showers, etc. Come in here to our cold porch. Keep most of our survival packs and jackets, things like that. Hallway, so there's eight bedrooms in total. But one bedroom is kept aside for emergency items of clothing and water in case we get a blizzard and we're trapped in our living quarters here well in our sleeping quarters one all the way down room number four these are our rooms so king single bed cupboard photos of the family my wife i've got my survival bag heater in the corner Got some clothes drying there. In the cupboard, got some shirts hanging up and some odds and ends I brought with me. So, it's small, comfortable, so can't knock it at all. Alright, hello. Welcome to our living quarters. So, in here, we have our uh, cold porch straight up. That's where my stuff lives. Goes up here. In here we have the plant room. So this is our potable water that comes from the snow melter. We then pump it into this tank and then that is then used to drink, shower, anything we need uh, non-frozen water for we use here ducting, all that sort of jazz, beer fridge, dartboard, the essentials, 
This tank on the left is our grey water tank that stores all the shower liquids, all the urine and uh, grease trap. So a bit nasty. This is a back fridge for the chef. So back through this way. Behind these were all our uh, radios get kept. Keep those on charge. Uh, first aid kit and sort of self-help cupboard. In here we have the mess. So kitchen where the uh, chef does his business. We're very blessed with our chef this year. He is absolutely incredible. Fridges back here. So this left fridge is sort of where we uh, keep our catch and kill, which is leftovers, or uh, food for the actual operators themselves. The other two fridges are the chef's business. All right, got our satellite phones here. Got these scattered all around the place. Dining room. Essentials, cutlery, crockery, everything over here. Some delicious homemade lamingtons, bickies, coffee machine, pod machine, the essentials, bread maker. We get made some very delicious bread, we're very lucky. And over here is probably the uh, drawer everyone's excited about. Confectionery. Not bad. Alright, continue back up here, we can go upstairs. Upstairs we have two bathrooms. This is the urinal, sink, shower. And the reasoning behind the urinal is we have an incinerate to toilet. So it is dry. You use uh, paper bags, solid waste only. Do your business in there and it burns it shoots it up through this pipe and uh, smokes out the top so it's a bit of a different system down the bottom of the uh, toilet there there's a, a catch pan towel drying rack on the left second bathroom exactly the same just mirror finish mirror image laundry Washer, dryer, pretty standard sort of stuff. Got a load of washing on at the moment. Through here we have our lounge room. This is where we do all our chilling out, especially on these days. So, a couple of day beds each side under the window. Nice to uh, chill back and relax. Leather couches. Somewhere we all end up sprawled through here. And a decent sized telly. But uh, I think about. 12 terabytes worth of movies there so a bit to do and in this little room here is the quiet room so there's a couple of chairs in here telephone this is where everyone sort of makes their phone calls from a few books spare mattresses uh, someone's got their wash and drying in here at the moment which is pretty standard but you can find if uh, you're caught in a blizzard and you can't get back to your living accommodation this is where you sort of end up sleeping on the floor so uh, those mattresses might come in handy. In these drawers here, we've got uh, extra clothing and bedding. We've got linen, food store up here, more food, more linen, so all that sort of jazz. We'll uh, certainly not run out of food in a hurry. So that's the living quarters. It's uh, tight, it's a little small, but it's got everything we need, so. We're not complaining at all. So this is our yeah, fresh drinking water. Some beautiful Antarctic snow. And into the uh, snow melter. We use a uh, food grade bucket. Everything's uh, nice and clean.
this is the generator shed. We've got uh, two generators in here, Cummins generators. I think they're 110 kVA um, peak and 88 kVA constant. down area we just uh, moved this a couple of days ago looks nice with uh, not much snow all over it hole down the end there to plug our uh, machines in overnight blue building is a generator van green container here is a, uh, a Herman hut so where we keep our Herman Nelsons like uh, big jet heaters blue container is a parts container a little red one on the back is uh, lifting slings and D shackles and the white building is uh, Lockie's workshop where all the mechanical magic happens. Now this is the uh, workshop. This, that there's a uh, generator for C17 planes when they come in. All Lockie's tools. Oils, just service the machine in here, so mopping up any oil on the ground. Big doors, so we can fit the loaders, snow blowers, and stuff in here, but we cannot fit the uh, the groomers, the dozers, or um, much else in here. So it's a little bit uh, painful. Could use this like the bigger shed, but it's nice and warm in here at least, so it's a good place to be.